Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another post review. Um, this is for one of my January finishes, which is Snow Leopard by the artist Sandra Winther. Um, this kit is licensed through Diamond Art Club. I have had this kit on my to-do list in winter 2023 since it came out. Um, I believe this one sold out really quickly. I was not able to purchase it during the initial release, but I did snag it as soon as it restocked and I'm so happy I did. This kit is just so cute. It was so fun to work on. Um, I really, really enjoyed working on it. Uh, this is a 56 by 66, I believe, centimeter diamond painting. There are 25 colors with two ABs. And I was really happy. Let me grab my notes. Um, yeah, I was really happy with this finish. I didn't have any issues, surprisingly, with the glue. Um, the symbols were great. No issues there. I say surprisingly because I tend to have issues somewhat more often than not with Diamond Art Club's poured glue and adhesive. It just, I don't, I don't know. Sometimes it's really slippery and I'm happy to report that this one was great. I didn't have any issues. Um, there were only 25 colors. So again, I didn't have any issues with symbols or anything. Um, there were two ABs that were charted in here, a blue and a white. I did not add anything extra. The blue is in the eyes here, and the white is kind of sprinkled throughout the fur. Now, the one thing, I will say one thing about Diamond Art Club's ABs. I do really enjoy their special drills. However, I find that their 141, which is their white AB, is very pink leaning, which is not my favorite. Um, I am a big fan of the white AB, whether it's 5200 or 3865. If you watch my channel often, you probably know that I more often than not am putting those white ABs into my kits. Um, so I was happy to see the white AB, but I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Their white ABs in recent kits have had a very strong pink leaning. Um, effect and it's not my favorite. Uh, let me pour some of these out. Obviously when you lay an AB down with other colors it kind of picks up whatever is around it but hopefully you guys can see just how much pink is in that overspray I guess is what it would be that's on their special drills. Now it's not a deal breaker for me at all but I feel like with this particular kit, there's so much blue and gray that the pink just sticks out more than I want it to. With a white AB, I enjoy the extra shine, but for me, I'm kind of like, well, where's the pink coming from, if that makes sense. But that's really the only, I don't even want to call it an issue because it's more of a personal preference. Um, with this kit, but I think everything else is just fantastic. I think the rendering is great. I love the eyes. I'll pop up a full length picture here. You're seeing most of it, but I'll, I'll put up a picture so you can see it from a distance. I love how big the paws look. I don't know why. I just, I really enjoyed this kit. It took me maybe about a week uh, it was a pretty quick finish for me and I am so happy I worked on it. So really nothing quote unquote bad to say, but that's just kind of my little personal preference there, my little critique, but all in all, I really love this kit. I think it's out of stock right now, but I do believe it's still available. Um, as far as the drills go, I had a very 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 difficult time with static on this one uh i think did i kit this up with you guys i can't remember i was very angry <laughs> with the static and i know that diamond art club i believe that they have said that they figured out the issue they're working on it it's been rectified but there's no way to really tell how many kits were affected by it which is fair but 
I just kitted up in a diamond painting from a different company and the kitting up process was just so magical. Like I love kitting up, but when it's an experience like this, I never want to do it again. So thankfully <laughs> that other company, um, I was able to kit up super, super easily, no issues. I look forward to the day when I have a diamond art club kit like that in the future. I just, I can't wait. <laughs> I really can't. Um, I had a lot of clumping drills as a result of that static and I do have um, dryer sheets in every color. I also did use my drill grinder quite frequently. This is one from Bella Art Day Nicole, uh, but I was talking to who was that? Was it Trisha? I think it was Trisha from Trisha's Dim Diamonds. Is that her? Her tag? I can't remember. Um, we were talking about clumping drills and she didn't have a grinder. And I was like, I've heard that the pill bottle with the quarter trick works. And she was like, I'm going to try it. So she messaged me back and she said it really does work. So if you do not have a grinder, but you have an extra pill bottle somewhere and a quarter, apparently I need to try it for myself. But if you pour all of that into a pill bottle and you shake it around, it separates the drills. I would love to know the sorcery behind that. Like, how does that work? Um, <laughs> but she said the drills were perfect. There were no scratches or dings or anything like that. So if you don't have a grinder, but you have clumping drills, maybe give that a try. So those are my thoughts. I had plenty of every color. Um, I had pretty minimal trash, not pretty. I had minimal trash. Um, this is it for that, for this painting. Just a lot of most of them had just little extra pinholes in the top, um, which seems to be just the way it is with the newer Diamond Art Club rounds, which I don't care. As long as I have enough drills to complete my painting, I really don't care how much trash I have. So as far as my accessories, I told you about my drill grinder. My trays are from Cat Proof Trays. Uh, this is the, does it say? No, it doesn't. I think they've started printing what size tray this is. I can't remember. I think this might be the the lean boy, maybe. And then this is the kitten. And I had all of my little dryer sheets in that one. <laughs> um, my putty is from Excuse Me Designs. Cover minder is from Country Craft Closet. My beautiful, absolutely gorgeous... I think this might be a favorite pen in my collection, is from Peachy Keen Pens. Isn't that so pretty? As soon as I saw this one, I knew I needed to use it with this kit. I think it's just so beautiful. I love that. My washi tape is from Amanda Michelle Designs. The one I use on my containers is just one of these skinny tapes from the brand MT. I have a huge assortment of these from a variety pack on Amazon. And I think that's it. So this is my third finish for 2023. And I love it. I really, really enjoy this kit. Uh, I do, I would say I recommend it if you are looking for a pretty much color blocky snack size diamond painting to work on this winter. I think this is the perfect one. Um, a wonderful snoot here for some booping. <laughs> Super cute. I really did enjoy this one. So that's it for this post review. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm on a little bit of a roll. Like the kits I've been talking about recently are ones that I've really enjoyed. I haven't had any issues, which just makes me really happy. I've got some good diamond painting juju going on right now. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for checking out today's post review. Um, I'm trying to think of what my schedule will be for next week and it's not coming to me just yet, but make sure you come back on Monday where I will hopefully have either a kitten chat or a whip and chat or special drill organization, something like that. We'll figure it out as we go. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.